Every spring, Korea bursts with life. Cherry blossoms line the roads, and I fall right back in love with Korea. Every year, Courtney and I challenge ourselves to see as many cherry blossoms as possible. And our journey starts along the Songjingang River in Hadonggun. In this special episode, we take a look at a few local specialties harvested fresh from the Songjingang River, ending our day by eating some of the biggest oysters we've ever seen in our life. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you like what you see. Courtney and I are excited to keep exploring, learning, and appreciating all the food Korea has to offer. So we're in Hadong near Gure and we're on the Cherry Blossom Road. Both sides of the street are just lined with these big beautiful cherry blossoms for over 22 kilometers. Amazing. This is seriously one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. Just kilometers and kilometers and kilometers of tun tunnels, cherry blossom tunnels. And the petals are falling down right now. It's like raining flower petals. This, this is amazing. For lunch, we decided to try chejop guksu, a noodle dish famous near the Songjingang. Chejop are tiny freshwater clams that are harvested directly from the river. It was the perfect lunch to enjoy under the falling blossoms. I'm hungry enough that I want to eat it. Mm. No, I, just, I love bibim. Bibim noodles so much. Oh, it's really nutty. This one's really nutty too. Yeah, I just, is it from the sesame seeds? Like, I think so. The from? Probably sesame. That's the only like flavor that I really taste. It's just, <laughs> the red one's better. Mmm. I'm so hungry. I mean, it's more just like the view. And then knowing they harvest these just from this river. Right? I think any version of noodles I'm, I'm in love with. Well, I got a cherry blossom petal in my food. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. Why not? Is the sesame? I agree with you. Mm. And then the chives. Actually, really nice. I like it. Harong is also famous for its abundant tea fields planted along the mountains. So we decided to take a break from driving to enjoy some delicious Hadong tea. It's really like light, delicate. 
Well, I just plan to drive straight down the river all the way to the giant oysters. Uh, back here? Yeah, we can do that. That's what I meant. I mean, like after this area, just go. To end our Hadong Cherry Blossom tour, we drove south to where the Songjinggang meets the sea. Here you can find one of the rarest foods on earth, batgul. So we are in the mouth of the Songjin. Songjinggang. The, the Songjinggang is very famous for these giant oysters. They're called Batgul because they're in season during the Batgul, which is uh, cherry blossom season. This is my first time having them here. Last year we bought some and took them home. Um, but yeah, she showed us the Batgul and they are huge oysters. Like the biggest oysters I think I've ever seen in my life. Wow, These are the biggest oysters I've ever seen. They look so milky. Dude, look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm nervous about this. The texture looks so good. Oh my gosh, this looks insane. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna try one just plain here. I'm really shocked because I thought this would taste really briny. It's actually not salty at all. 100% like the salt is gone. I thought it would be really salty. But yeah, you're right, it is. They're freshwater. These are from the freshwater. It's actually where the ocean and freshwater meet. So what's interesting is they give you meishu zanachi. And meishu zanachi is super sour and super salty. I actually thought the pear wouldn't go well. But now that I've had this, I think you might need something like this. Like, or kimchi. Like, the taste is just really sweet and buttery. Not briny. Not fishy. And if I'm being 100% honest, glue from the ocean, like regular size oysters, have a much more flavorful taste. These are much milder. And if you're not a fan of like strong oysters, ah, joyo, come some in there. Ah, meu mat joyo. Yeah, meu mat joyo. Joyo, eh, chup chuseo, chuseo. Yeah, nice. Come some in there. Wow, so we get some gulu soup. <laughs> so big, I've like just never experienced anything like that. It's just pure meat. All right, this one I'm gonna go with kimchi. I think it needs kimchi and meishu. I, I think that's the combo. All right, I'm gonna try one with kimchi and meishu, which I think is gonna just put it over the top. This is gonna make it delicious. So creamy, it's like the milk, milk of the ocean. Mm. Dude. Mm. This Meishu Jangachi is not sour, it's really sweet. Usually it's so sour. The taste of that is like heaven. This stuff is so good. I like this more than the oyster. 
This is so good. Wow. That's the best made shijangachi I've had. Usually it's so strong and sour, but this one's like just sweet and perfect. Paired with those oysters, it's the best. Oh my god, this is one, this is a hell of a meal. With the kimchi and the nesho, it's another, another dimension. It's like necessary, actually. She'll just swims around in that milky broth. That's really good. All right, I'm gonna try some of the soup. Oh, baby. Changyang gochu. That is nice. That is nice. Mm. Salty, really pepper, peppery. Soup is necessary. Wow. <laughs> this is so big. <laughs> this is awesome. This is heavy. This is crazy. Mm. Anyways, I just wonder what like a Michelin star chef, like let's say they're visiting Korea to like learn about Korean ingredients. If you took them here, you know, this is sourced right outside the door. We're right beside the mouth of the Sam, Sam, uh, Songjin. Songjin? I can't say it. I don't know, I just wonder what somebody would think about it, you know. It's so unique. Mm. I came here thinking like, I would really love the oysters. I like the Dimensio Jaganchi is like the main star for me. I love it. Tastes like that ice cream. It's just so interesting that you you come here. I think you can maybe get them year round, but they're not as big, they're not as luscious and beautiful, but you come here during the cherry blossom season and I love that they named them Batkul. We're surrounded by Batkul. Yeah, I would say come here for the cherry blossoms and come here. Yeah,